I got a spray tan. That's why I look so alarming. I haven't washed it off yet, so it'll look a little better and not like the New Jersey tan mom once I shower. But looking at myself in the viewfinder, I'm mortified. Anyways, camping is fucking expensive. And you think it wouldn't be because you're like in the woods. You're like not at a resort, but I've spent so much money so far. We haven't even left yet. Haven't even bought beer yet. Um, so I'm gonna show you all the dumb shit I got for camping. So, first bag. This is from Five Below. Um, basically everything in here was five bucks. I didn't get anything below five. Um, so the first one is a hot dog float. Um, why not? I prefer a circular float, but I saw this and it was just calling out to me, as most hot dogs do. Why? Why did I get this? I love anything pineapple. I love cactuses, flamingos. I think those are my, like, things, my shapes. Um, but, you know, I was like, you know what? I'll make a mixed drink. I'll put it in this. I'll float in the lake. Um, but did I need this? Did I need to spend $5 on this? No. The next two are similar. Why not have big bags of candy? I'm not a huge candy person, but again, I saw those and they called out to me and I, I had to come to the sirens. So the next thing I got, this was $24, but there's two in here. So this is a disposable camera. I had one of these last year and it was so fun. Like, it's nice to like take a picture and not like automatically try and look at it and be like, no, that one sucks. Like you get what you get when you have one of these. And also I didn't develop it till like November. So it was fun. Like months later being like, oh my God, all these dumb pictures. Also, um, this is good to have on the boat. So if it falls overboard for some drunken reason, not a huge loss. It's not like your phone or an actual camera going overboard. So I think these are just fun to have around. They are pretty expensive to get developed, but I'll cross that bridge when we get there. All right, so the next thing, another five below item. This one was only $3.25. I'm a bargain hunter. Um, collapsible drink dispenser. You know what, I'll just open it. Um, nope, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. That's, nope, that didn't work how I wanted it to either. Okay, your booze is gonna go in here. It'll have a top. It'll have a bottom and it has a spout, so then, you put your stupid pineapple underneath and like fill it up. Um, I'd like to, during the day, do mixed drinks because beer just like just makes me tired. So like beer is like a later on kind of a thing. Um, I'm not a big drinker. I'm really trying to like plan out how my body's gonna react. Um, so I'm thinking my vodka drink, make like a big thing of it, put it in here all day and like sprout it out during the day. That was the plan. Who knows what's gonna happen with this. Who knows? Speaking of booze, I got two things of vodka, a thing of tequila, and then two Bloody Mary mixes. So that's the plan so far. Again, I haven't even bought beer, but I spent $70 at the liquor store. So my go-to drink is going to be vodka with Turkey Hill Diet Green Tea. I love this on its own and it mixes really well with the vodka. So you could definitely be like sipping on this all day and not like die. So I have two of these. Hopefully they last me. Um, and also Weight Watchers friendly. Another five below item, a picnic basket. So this is going to open up, but I figured I can put like literally anything in here. It's a basket. All right. Some Randos dry shampoo, some aloe because you know, I'm going to get sunburned even though I have this goofy ass tan on. Then I got some 50 sunscreen. Um, a different 50 sunscreen. What else? What else? These I got when TJ Maxx opened. They were $3. They're waterless razors from Venus. Haven't tried them out, but, um, I'm intrigued. So now I have some food. Again, I'm on Weight Watchers, but it's a vacation week, so I will be, like, mildly following it. Like, really not counting anything, but trying to make okay decisions because my body next week will be 90% beer. Um, like you literally don't have water when you go camping. So I'm making like small substitutions, but I will literally be poisoning my body with alcohol. So I'm making, you know, little, little help. Um, you know, breakfast and dinner are usually taken care of. And honestly, I usually don't do lunch cause you're like in the water all day. But in the off chance that I want something, I got some 647 bread. This is one smart point um, on Weight Watchers to make some peanut butter and jellies with. And I got strawberry jelly. And then I got chunky peanut butter. 
I got these poppables in the sea salt flavor. These are pretty Weight Watchers friendly. Okay, so gross and it kind of looks like dog food, but uh, corned beef hash, so good. For me, after a night of drinking, I need something salty, so that's like the perfect breakfast. <laughs> Speaking of salty, I got a big thing of tiny pickles. I basically can only eat the mini pickles, but I love them so much. So I have a huge thing of kosher petite dills. These are like chips to me. I can like go to town on something like this. Um, and the salt and electrolytes, again, help after a night of drinking. I usually pour some pickle juice into my Bloody Mary. So pickles, I'm not gonna say are a hangover cure, but they definitely help a little bit. And then for some reason I saw a bag of pickles and I was like, I need to have this too. So again, it's the kosher baby dills, but I figured I can bring this out on the boat. It's not a big glass jar. I can bring a little bag of pickles along with me. All right, then I just got a big tub of pretzels. I wanted some kind of a snack that had um, like a lid, like that wasn't a bag. Um, so I feel like anyone can have these. We'll have them throughout the week and they won't go too bad because they have a sealable lid. Again, we'll be drinking 24 seven. So I got a big thing of Pedialyte. And then I just got water wipes and I don't know if this is gonna work or not. It's a Bugables mosquito repellent band. So put around your wrist and hopefully it deters the bugs because usually after a week at Lake George, I come back burnt, bitten, bruised, bleeding, all of it. So hopefully this helps. Okay, so I have to somehow clean this up and fit it into a car, uh, but that's about like $200 worth of stuff. And like I said, I didn't even buy beer yet. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you all the crap I got before going camping. All right, I'm gonna go take a shower and not look as orange. Okay, so I brought two suitcases. One is like, I would say a little bit bigger than a carry-on size. And then the other one is like a super mini, but I kept this one for dirty clothes and like all my sunscreen and stuff. And then this one was clothes. And for the most part, this is my dirty laundry bag. I did not need all of this stuff. Like I literally packed a sweatshirt for every day of the week. So unnecessary. So I'm gonna show you what else is in here so I can hopefully pack lighter next time. Ugh, the angles, the hair, nothing's going right today. But I just got back from camping and I didn't have time to do a pack with me. So I thought I'd do like an unpack with me. And I definitely overpacked for going camping for seven days, but you have to be prepared for everything. But I kind of overdid it. So I'm gonna unpack and kind of show you what I did and didn't wear, so let's go through it. Okay, like I mentioned, I brought a sweatshirt for every day of the week. And I had a lot of new tie-dye sweatshirts that I wanted to debut, but you know what? It just wasn't cold this year. There was many nights where I was sweating and waking up without blankets on because I just couldn't have anything on me. So at any other trip, I could maybe, maybe justify seven sweatshirts, but not this time. I did bring some Old Navy comfy socks and these would have been great, but I just never reached for them. A denim jacket. Again, had the weather been different, this might have been good for a night by the fire, but this is a little too real clothes um, for our kind of camping trip. Like I definitely did not need this. I did bring my um, swimsuit cover up. I brought another one and I ended up wearing that one more. Um, and we had our own private area, so it's not like I had to like really cover up that much. So I love this one. I wear it all the time, but I did not wear this one once. All right, this pink bathing suit I did wear a few times. Got so many comments on it. Both of the American Eagle swimsuits that I brought, like everyone was like, where's that from? So very happy with those purchases. And then my beloved mod cloth one piece. This is my most worn swimsuit from last year. Wore this a few times, so happy with this one. I brought a like sports bra and leggings set. Leggings would have been fine. Um, I thought I was gonna go for a hike. A lot of other people did. I was floating in the water the entire time, so the hike never happened, but I was ready. My Fashion Nova pink tie-dye bike shorts. This is a set, it also comes with the top. I did end up wearing the top. Um, I wanted to keep my legs covered as much as possible because of bug bites. So I wasn't really reaching for my shorts, but this would have been good to sleep in because like I said, it was really hot at night, but I wanted to cover up when I was outside as much as possible. So the bike shorts didn't really get worn and I brought another pair of bike shorts. Again, same reason, I just wanted to cover up my legs and that really didn't work. I have so many bug bites, I look like I have chicken pox on my legs. I also brought my Under Armour like sports jacket again, um, just to have like an 
outerwear option that wasn't a pull or sweatshirt. Um, I thought like a jacket would be good, but like I said, it was a little too hot, so this never got touched either. My camping shirt, me, Courtney, and Caitlin all got these from Target last year. We took a group picture in it, so I figured I'd bring the camping shirt back this year. Caitlin wore hers, I just never took mine out of the uh, suitcase. This one I love, and I was looking for it, actually. It was just at the bottom of this massive suitcase. So this I would have worn and I was trying to wear. I just couldn't find it. Big, stretchy, boat-necked, bow and arrow shirt. Some jorts. I really thought I'd wear jorts, but I was trying to avoid the bug bites. This whole side is um, swimsuits, and most of them are in the laundry bag. So um, I don't know if I'm going to rifle through that. So these I thought I was going to wear, and a lot of these are... Uh, favorites but just didn't happen like i said my favorite from last year along with the mod quad was my cactus one didn't reach for this i was definitely going for more of a one piece look this year and like i said i got so many compliments on the one pieces i wore this year so unfortunately this didn't get to be worn this one i do love this is the torrid little um t-shirt kind of top so it has sleeves and it has a little tie up on the boobs this i loved i wore it with my denim overall dress over it so it looked like a little crop top with sleeves and then the um, overalls super cute i love this and i wear it like when i go to pools but i just didn't get to wear my tie-dye this is a set from cup sheet and it's reversible so it has lemons and then the other side is just stripes so i didn't get to wear this but this one is super cute too the red one piece that i got from shein i think this was so cute i was gonna do this as my like, day one travel outfit like wear this and then the overall dress over it because this has the uh, like off the shoulder flounce so i thought that'd be really cute peeking out from the overalls but I just went for the pink that day, and then I just never reached for this one. Anything I didn't wear, obviously I really liked because I brought it with me thinking I was going to wear it, but it just didn't happen. Then I brought these bottoms, I want to say from Fashion Nova Curve, um, and I was going to do the black Torrid top with this. And again, I just never got around to it. Pink, t I don't know if I wore this. I brought this as like a beach cover-up, and it's still folded, so no, I guess I didn't wear it. And I do have black flip-flops in here, but I was like, I'm not even going to like bring these out because they will get stolen so i had my gold old navy flip-flops and i'm like i'm the only one with gold flip-flops i'll know they're mine so the black ones never left the bag this dress i wore this as a beach cover-up and i have been wearing it as a beach cover-up for years and it's so funny because i used to wear this to work all the time so i think it's funny how something goes from like work appropriate to a beach cover-up um but this is really easy loose light so this was my beach cover up throughout the week sunglasses that i never wore my little jockey bra love this wore this a lot oh my god makeup bag why did i bring this dry shampoo never use that this mosquito repellent band i never took out of here um by the time i realized i had that i was already so bitten that i was like what's a few hundred more um shower bag i literally used this once <laughs> i was floating in the water all day like i think that like cleans yourself i don't know um moisturizer i don't think i use this these waterless um razors a plus would buy again loved it like amazing easy shave so this turned out to be a really good purchase i did floss i brought my flossies and i did floss extra mask and three external chargers pissed through these in the first like three days thank god my mom has a camper and i'll just charge my phone in there brought a polaroid didn't use it more koozies um i did use this this has my birth control in it and my chin hair trimmer i shaved my chin more than i shaved my legs during this trip bag of underwear this is the way to do it i always knew where my underwear was i wasn't shuffling through giant bags like gonna do this way more often i think this was all just period stuff and you know what if you over prepare you don't need it, so I'm really happy my period didn't come. Uh, I think as the universe's way of evening out the karma, my laptop then broke, but um, at least I didn't have my period on vacation. I did bring two, um, what are these called, disposable cameras, and I put one on the boat for all the young people to use, and no one touched it. Um, so we only ended up using one because I was the only person who used this, so I do have a second one for future use. It also looks like an ice cream sandwich. Again, going off of if you bring it, then you won't need it. Pepto-diarrhea. Happy I had it. 
I'm also happy I didn't have to use it. I think it's funny that I packed two suitcases for a week-long camping trip, but when I went to Europe for two months, I had a suitcase and a backpack, and I was fine. Um, so I, I, I overdid it, but again, I'd rather be overprepared than underprepared. So that's why I had so many sweatshirts and bathing suits. Um, but you know what? There was a Walmart down the street, so if you forget anything, you can always buy it. So yeah, that was my unpack with me, I guess. Um, and now I know to just do a little less next time.